screw into the bar so I can keep it low on this side. All right, and that's gonna align the bar right over my form. Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. And today we are talking about bar placement in your hand. Very important topic because oftentimes with a poor bar placement, you're gonna get your wrist bent back when you bench. I'm sure many of you bend through this. It not only hurts your wrist, but it's a huge leakage of force because in order to have good force transfer into the bar, we need that bar stacked right over our forearms. If it's not, again, pressure on the wrist can cause a lot of discomfort, so we're not transferring nearly as much force as we could be to the bar. There was a recent video that came out, J.M. Blakely discussing uh, how he likes to teach getting your hands set to the bar. And I really like that video. Uh, he teaches it as a diamond. So the key to getting a good bar placement, all right, is to get your hand inverted like this and then dig the webbing of the hand in first. It's not as simple as just grabbing the bar. All right, if you're someone that just grabs a hold of the bar, you're very likely going to end up in a bar, bad bar placement, okay? That bar is gonna end up sitting mid-hand. All right, we need to actually dig that positioning in. Okay, so how he explained it in his video, all right, make a diamond. That gets you into that inverted position and then come out with the grip wherever you wanna take it. So pretty much getting to this point. It's a quick step to get to this point here. And then, all right, I get the thumbs latched and I dig the hand down. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so it's not as simple as just grabbing the bar. All right, I'm not gonna end up with the bar down in this position. Okay, if I just grab the bar, bar's coming out the side of my hand, mid hand. All right, I wanna angle that bar, I want to screw into the bar so I can keep it low on this side. And that's gonna align the bar right over my form. So again, get the inset here of your hand, dig that webbing in, and then take the bottom of your hand, drive that under the knurling. Okay, you're moving all this hand meat up here. All right, taking the slack out, if you will. Dig those hands in and then latch on. And you can see that's going to yield a much better bar position. Yeah, my wrists will be bent back a little bit. They have to be, but that bar is going to be stacked right over my forearms. All right, as opposed to if I just grab the bar, a lot of loose skin underneath, moving around, shifting, and then I have the bar in the middle of my hand. You can see my wrists really easy that they can get bent back here in this position. There you have it, guys. That's a way to set your hands to the bar. If you go over to our membership site, bigbenches.com, I'm going to show you two of my favorite drills to correct poor wrist position if you're still struggling. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here. And then you can check out our most recent video down below. And then in the description box down below, you can also find links for our membership plan and our online coaching program.